Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nikki Marie, back with another Uber Eats video. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanna tell y'all how many times I have came out here, got online, and it's just been crickets, okay? So I gave it some time, a few months. I thought, okay, when fall comes, it should be back to normal, right? Came out yesterday, crazy trash orders. So I'm hoping today, which is September 30th, things are better. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in my usual area, Rockville, Maryland, and I went online when I left work around 4.15 or so. It's about 4.40 now. So I've been online for a little minute, but I was driving to this area, so I figured I would stay online just in case a nice order came in. One thing that I did want to mention that I do not like that they did with the app update, you can't see both restaurants you're picking up from. I did the update. I think it was yesterday but before it used to tell you both restaurants that you were picking up from and now it's back to telling you just one restaurant which I do not like it does kind of show you on the map but like if you don't know the area you probably not gonna know which restaurant it is plus this area there's a lot of restaurants so there's a lot of restaurants that I don't like picking up from so I just don't like that I can't see the second restaurant also I'm gonna start doing comment of the day so when I do comment of the day, it'll be at the end of the video and it, it'll basically be a comment from my last video. There's a website called Comment Picker. I can pick a random comment. Leave your comments down below. I would like to know how's it going for you guys, for the Uber Eats drivers out there. Has it gotten back to normal? Are you making good money? Are you having quests? That's another thing. I haven't seen quests on here in a while. I've been checking periodically and I don't see anything. Nor have I got any messages. So yeah, but let me know down below in the comments and um, I'll come back on when I get my first order. All right, y'all, it's been a little minute and finally got my first order. So first order of the night, it's 5.22. I'm not sure how long I've been online, probably for an hour. Pretty much wasting time. I could have made like five bucks already from the orders that were coming in. There is a sound still going on with my steering wheel. I think I told you guys in one video. So I'm not gonna do too much talking while I'm driving because of that so you're just gonna have to see the scenery I mean let's get to Clyde's Tower Oaks all right y'all just did order number finished order number one and now I'm headed to order number two La Brasa for nine bucks so it's hella traffic out here it's like hella traffic and I'm not gonna make it through this lake because I'm too far back but yeah I guess it's going pretty good I got an order like kind of right after maybe a couple minutes after I dropped the first order off so supposedly I'm in a good area but Every time when I'm supposedly in a good area, the orders be trash. So you can't really trust when they say, oh, you're in a busy area. Am I? Let's go get this food. It's day two. Yesterday I only did four trips. So basically yesterday it started getting dark and something is happening with my car. The noise is one thing but basically every time I turn a corner or I turn the wheel like a little bit the lights went off. My headlights went off. So I don't know if that's related to the noise in my steering wheel but I just was like it's probably not the best idea to be out here with my lights keep turning off, so I went home. But, so, I'm online. It's 3.31 Friday. 
October 1st and I'm in Rockville. There's hella traffic out here. Let's see what we can do tonight. All right, y'all, so I've been online for quite a while and I just been declining orders, just orders that are not up to my standard. And I was actually coming to 7-Eleven to get something to drink and I accidentally clicked on the screen. I think the order was for $20, but it's going to, that was only $5. I don't even know if I should have took that second one. $5 for Kung Fu tea, so I just took it. So if this order is $25, then I guess that makes up for all the time I've been sitting because I just haven't been accepting anything. I guess I just need to stop being so picky because it's just like, if I'm just gonna sit for an hour, that's just wasting time. So I just need to like start accepting orders. Let me get a Coke and we'll figure this out. A Diet Coke, of course. Why are people so weird? You hold the door for them and they don't even say thank you. That is so weird. Anyways, so I got me a Diet Coke. You know how hard it is to freaking find keto friendly stuff? I was about to say another word, but I, I caught myself. Anyways, I just ended up getting a salad and a pickle. So let's head to go pick up our stuff because we gotta make a pit stop. All right, so first stop is a restaurant that I have not picked up from. I think I explained to y'all what's going on with my camera is being a loser. So that's why I have to keep looking to see if I'm in focus. <laughs> but um, it's called Taj Caterers and Cafe. It looks like Indian food, paneer. Paneer Makhni, Garlic Naan, Vegetable Biryani, and the other place I'm picking up from is Tea Do, which I know they have um, like bubble tea and stuff, so that one was only $5, but it was only two miles added to what I was already doing, so let's go pick up these two orders first. Can y'all see me? When I tell y'all I dropped the first order off, which was the, um, the bubble teas, and I saw this second order pop up. I almost had a heart attack. This joint is 23 miles away. I'm going to Northeast DC. The del the pickup was in Rockville. This these type of orders are just just retarded. Why are they even an option on the Uber Eats app? I just don't get it. Why can someone order from a place that's almost 25 miles away? Does it make any sense? So this is going to take 53 minutes according to this. I'm not gonna take the route that it says because it's kind of going around the world and I'm not doing that. I'm going straight down. So I'll be somewhere down somewhere. <laughs> 8th Street. And it looks like it's some sort of business building maybe. <sighs> if, I, if I cancel this, I'm gonna have their food and I don't want it, so. I should have just canceled this order in the first place. I will see you guys after I drop this off. Yay. literally 625 and I just dropped that that order off and I got two more orders was within walking distance of where I parked my car so I picked both of those up they were like literally right next to each other one is H chicken and one was majors carry out so I'm going about three miles away the girl some do the second restaurant some do came in that knew her he just came in to wrap her up and I was waiting on the order and she was bagging it but she was taking forever. Girl, can you hurry up and get the food so I can go, please? But yeah, it's it's just crowded and there's a lot of people on the freaking street right now and there's a lot of police. Why are you in front of my car? Get out of front of my car. Why are you in front of my car? Like, what's wrong with you, homie? But yeah, I'm just trying to get these orders done. That, that one order just, it took forever. And I was just like, it's definitely the ghetto. All right, so I'll see y'all after these. All right, you guys, so I'm home. When I tell you, after that last trip, I was in the ghetto. And 
I was trying to escape the ghetto so I put my home address in and I was leading away. It started getting dark. When I tell you I put my left turn signal on, my lights went out, like out completely for at least five seconds. So I'm just like almost about to have a heart attack and I'm like shaking it or so. I'm like shaking the steering wheel I'm like, and they come back on. So I can't be out at night. That's just that on that. I can't be out at night. When I do Uber Eats, it's just gonna have to be during the daytime until I get this fixed because, hein, so I'm pulling in my complex, they go out again for at least three seconds. I'm just like, what is going on? My car is the literal ghetto now. Like, I think I have two separate problems. I think, I'm not really sure, but I need a new mechanic because my mechanic is bugging like let's get the total of what we made so i've been online for like hella long hours i'm not sure how active i was during those hours i was online a lot longer than i should have been when i just wasn't working for both days so the total is 82 dollars and 44 cents so the first day was 39 dollars and 51 cents and the second day was 42 dollars and 91 cents so 80 bucks but yeah that is it for this kind of first video back it's pretty tragic but i am gonna go ahead and do comment of the day so this comment comes from my last video which was a vlog i was talking about keto and whatnot but i did go on random comment picker and the comment winner is tiff tiff so she said proud of you girl health truly is wealth i'm watching what i eat as well it's hard but it's worth it so shout out to you tiff tiff you have got the comment of the day i also wanted to do a quick shout out shout out to seattle rose her channel is the seattle rose she is looking to get about 130 more subscribers so she can get to a thousand so she's a mother she looks like she does hauls vlogs stuff like that so um if you're interested in that go check that out and yeah follow me on instagram and that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one